So how do you combine PDF documents on your Mac without buying something expensive like Adobe? Let's find out. All right, so welcome back. So today's more of a training video again, a quick one. I'm gonna show you guys two different ways to do this. So if, let's just assume you had a bunch of PDF files and let's just say it's like a textbook or something and each PDF is a chapter. How do you go ahead and combine all those PDFs into just one PDF file without actually using something, you know, paid version of Adobe? Um, and this is gonna be on your Mac computer. It can be a, a MacBook or an iMac or something. So I'm gonna show you two different ways. The first way to combine PDFs is gonna be what I would classify as maybe the way a lot of people do. Um, it, may, it may be useful for you. It's gonna be one of the ways you can do it and it's built into the Mac. The other way, the second way I actually think is easier. It's gonna be using Automator and it's gonna take like just five seconds to set up and once you set it up it's a really cool way to do it. So I'm gonna show you both ways to do this so stay tuned in this video. It's more of a training video. Let me know what you think if you guys like these videos or not. Anyways I'll talk to you at the end of the video. Let's get into it. All right so the very first way we're gonna do this is using preview and this is the more common way but it's not probably the cooler way to do it. So anyways let me go ahead and show you how to do this. So this is gonna I just created a folder here it's just a test folder I have some PDFs in here. If I click on these PDFs they're all gonna be a little bit different they're just sample PDFs. Picture these as being like just chapters of a textbook and you want to combine all these into one PDF. So what the first thing you want to do with that is you want to just go ahead and select the very first one here and then you double click on it and that's going to open up uh, preview. You can see how it says preview up here. So now we're in preview. Now if you don't have a bar over here showing the different pages of this this one PDF, um, what you want to do is you want to go to view and just make sure thumbnails over here is selected. Make sure that's selected and you're going to see these pages. The next thing you want to do is you want to click on the page where you want to add, you know, the PDF, the, the, the additional. We're going to try to add number two and number three to this one. See PDF two, number two, PDF number three to this first one. So the first thing you want to do is you want to click on the page over here where you want to, you know, add it. So we want to add it after this page here. So I'm going to click on that page right there. So that's the first thing you want to do. The next thing you want to do then is you want to go up to edit here. Make sure you're still in preview. Go to edit and then you want to go to insert and then from page I'm sorry, page from file. So insert page from file. Click on that. I'm in my example here, which is this folder. You can see it. But so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these other two. So number two and number three, those, those two PDFs I want to add to this. I'm going to select both of those. And then I'm going to choose open here. And there you go. So as you can see here, if I go up to the top here, this is the first PDF. You can see it there. It added the second one there, and then it added the third one there, which is three pages. So you can go ahead and see that basically it added all three of these in a row. And that's one easy way to do this so that you can have uh, all of them in one. And then all you have to do here is you just go up to File, and you want to go to Export this time, or Export as PDF. I mean, basically Export as PDF is what I want to do anyway. And you want to go ahead and just make this number four, save it. You'll see it over here. Now if I open this up, you can see that all the pages have been added together and they're all concatenated. So you can go ahead and read this like a novel now or your textbook. So that's number that's the, the number one way to do it. Now you have to remember all those steps. So I'm gonna show you an easier way once you know how to do this. All right, the number two way is kind of the nerdy way to do it. It's using Automator, but just watch. This kind of teaches you how to use Automator. It's a really, there's a ton of things you can do with PDFs, and this will kind of just let teach you how to use it. So here's our example folder. Very first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up Automator again, like I showed you in a couple other videos. You double click on this little guy, nothing comes up. You see Automator is up here. I always just go down here and just double click this little guy down here again. See him down here in the, in the bottom? Double click him. And this is the screen that you want. So this comes up. Now, this time you want to click Workflow flow see it right here workflow and then you click choose all right so now what you want to do is on this left hand side you want to go ahead and find PDF see it right right here I'm going to click on that and then down here what you want to do is you want to say it's the third thing down you want to see combined PDF pages you want to go ahead and drag that to the right window here and there it is so it's going to be appending pages that's the first step the second step is you want to go back over here to the left where it says files and folders and click on that all right, so inside of here, there's a lot of different things you can do. I like to find get selected finder items, see right there. So we'll, we'll go ahead and get, there's a basically get specified, but I like get selected finder items. So go ahead and make sure you choose that one and then drag that one over here. Now, the only other difference you have to do here is, send, you know, you really have to change the order of this because you really have to get the items and then you have to combine them. So just take this and drag it. You can go ahead and just drag this above that like that. See how I just switched that? So now it says get selected finder items first, combine PDF pages second. So that's all you have to do. Now watch what you have to do. So once you have this program saved, you can go ahead and, you know, 
I can go in here and I can go ahead and save and I can just you know give it a name like PDF combined or something like that and now that's workflow saved so you can always come back into automator and use this all you have to do now is you go to your folder over here and open it up and we're going to show you in real time so let's just say it says select all the PDFs. so we're going to attach all these together one through four so I'm going to go ahead and select all four of them see over here I just selected them this is in finder because that's what I'm doing here select finder items I just selected them there and it says combine PDF pages right so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to click over here on this and they're selected and I'm going to just run this see over here it says run we're going to run that automator would like to access your files and then you say okay and uh, and it's basically going to go through its little process and it's going to run you can see it here it's running in here um, it said results it said it's done there it is so I just finished doing that and uh, you can go ahead and see where this is going to be saved so that's actually done now let's go ahead and see the results so I clicked on results right there and uh, you can see that it came up with this this PDF document right here so I'm gonna go ahead and double click on this and now watch this whole thing has been saved with all of those PDF documents in a row from this over here all the way down and all you can do now you can search for it, you can do whatever you want and uh, you can go up file save and we'll save it right back to let's go ahead and put them in that example we'll save it there you can see it comes now here it is over here on the right and there it is over here. So now it's got all those PDFs just like I showed you. They're all searchable. Anyways, that's how you do it with Automator. You create this little this little task here. Again, you have to click this results to get the results. Otherwise, you'll be like, where did it go? But make sure you click that there. Otherwise, it won't show up. But beyond that, that's all you have to do. It's kind of a cool thing to just fool around with. You can see all these different things you can do with PDFs and everything. And then if you use the same exact process I just showed you, you know, once you click on PDFs over here, I'm kind of going backwards. There's a lot of things you can do here. You can split PDFs. A lot of people want to split them into individual pages, so you can do that. You can extract out and even pages. You can combine, like we that's what we actually did there. You can encrypt PDF documents. So anyways, check this out over here, and then use the same process. You drag it over here, and then you have to go back in here and actually choose, you know, get specified, find or get selected finder items, and then you basically select what you want on this, and then click the Run button, and it works. So there's a lot of different things you can do with PDFs. I just wanted to just show you one. All right, so that was pretty easy. That was a short video. Just wanted to show you just two different methods of doing this. So you don't have to buy software like Adobe software to actually combine these. I get a lot of questions where people say, I have all these PDFs and I just want them in one where I can just read through one document. This is how you do it. Two different ways. You don't have to buy any software. I like the automator way better just because it's kind of, number one, kind of cool that you actually can program that in. And number two, you don't have to remember all the different commands that are built into Reader. You know, once you have that done, uh, you can basically just hit that one, you know, just do that one step and then throw the files in there and it automatically combines them so let me know what you think in the comments uh, I'll definitely do some more automator things like this in the future I'm gonna cool off from it for a little while because I've done a few in a row now but I just wanted to show people what's available on the Mac and then once you start learning how to use these little techniques you know you can kind of create your own workflows and sometimes it's useful for people anyway subscribe to my channel if you can you know I make a couple of videos a week and at least I try to <laughs> so talk to you soon peace